program's the longest running uh, study abroad program in, at BU, 43 years and counting. Um, it originally started as a politics oriented program, then a journalism oriented program. Now it fits virtually every major. We try to make a special pitch to journalism students, and PR students particularly, that why would I want to consider Washington? Well, when you're actually there, you realize there's some real issues being dealt with here uh, that needs more people who think about these issues. Uh, from a journalism angle, um, or a, or a public relations angle, it needs solid communicators. It needs people who think about how to communicate the word, how to spread the message, how to advocate for an issue. Um, so our current journalism students now are, are in the throes of that situation, watching it happen, mixing it in, uh, talking to people, meeting alums who've been doing this kind of work for years. Um, people are often drawn, drawn away from that level of uh, excitement, as we like to call it, but it really is. It's an exciting place. It's a great time to be, uh, and it's, it's definitely, I think, a period of time where people will recognize DC for being um, what it really is, which is basically a place that affects change. One of the things that the Washington program prides itself on doing is connecting our students um, with individual alums. We've started a mentorship program recently. So it allows students to talk to alums and work with alums potentially who are five years out the gate, 10 years out the gate, in some cases, 20 to 30 years out the gate. So it's a lot of good perspective. Um, and a lot of, again, one-on-one -on -one coaching, from not only from the staff, but also this, these new mentors. I think the program could be for a lot of different people, right? You, you could have somebody who's interested in journalism, somebody who's interested in politics, somebody who's passionate about an issue. Um, if you really care about the environment or energy policy or whatever that is, there are people in Washington who care about it just as much and maybe more, and you can get connected with them either as a journalist or maybe as an advocate. To, to learn more and to try to make positive change. And that's one of the things about, uh, about the Washington program that's so great. Every semester, without fail, two or three of our students are asked by their supervisor, why, uh, are, are you sure you're not graduating now? Why can't we keep you here one more semester? And if they're not graduating, they're like, oh my gosh, I wish I could stay another semester. PR is one of, the, I think, one of the hidden secrets of DC. Oftentimes, I think, oftentimes BU students think New York, LA, for very good reasons. Um, as we say when we talk to students one-on-one -on -one and we talk to alums who've done the program and, and just graduated from VU, everybody has a communications shop in Washington, D.C. You walk down the hall of any building and someone has a communications chief representing them. That's an opportunity for BU students. Yeah, so students are, are uh, active Monday through Thursday, uh, both in the internship up to 40 hours. We don't recommend that, but it's usually about 32 to 35. International students are about 20. Um, they work Monday through Thursday. They take classes in the evening, 6.30 to, to about 9. Fridays we reserve to, um, to field trips and an internship class, a way to get to know the city and the culture and dive into a lot of the local elements of the city. 